get saved by answering an altar call. You must read the Word of God sincerely until you reach the point of salvation. Why is that? Because the truth about salvation, brethren, is that your soul must be born again. <laughs> salvation is in the rebirth of your soul into a soul that has compassion. What, what are you talking about, Sheila? Well, every sin will have its just recompense. Every action has a reaction. So if you continue to manifest malice and envy and trickery and guile, you're going to be under the sowing and reaping judgment for your, for your entire existence. And the soul that's in you, after your body dies, that reincarnates, will be doing the same thing. You reap what you sow. You cannot be saved while your heart is filled with malice and trickery and hatred and vengeance and retaliation. That is hell. That is a mental and a spiritual and emotional state of hell. You escape by entering into a lifestyle. That's the exact opposite, a life of compassion. When you have compassion on people, even if they damage you, there's no sin in that. But who, who can have compassion on everyone that's hurting them? It's not human. It's not possible. Therefore, you must be born again. You must, your, your animal soul that is fallen must give birth to us a compassionate soul, which is only possible through interaction with the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Keter, the one who has compassion. So the common salvation that Jude talks about is the salvation of your spirit. Faith in Jesus Christ saves your spirit, but your personality is not in your spirit. Your personality is in your soul. Your soul that backbites and hates and, and gossips and, and tricks other people. That's the soul. That's your personality. You want that one saved, it has to be reborn because it's a mess. Because your very soul that backbites and gossips and hates and retaliates is hell in your own very existence. It is your hell. You get into a struggle with somebody, you get into a power play with somebody, you get into a fight with somebody, you're jealous of somebody, you're obsessed with somebody, you're in hell. Hell is in your mind. That doesn't mean it's not real. That doesn't mean hell is not real. Hell is in your mind. Hell is in the way you think. So when you think compassion, no matter what the person does to you, you're in heaven. That's the reality of salvation. I know you never heard that, but that's the reality of it. So your spirit is saved from faith, from just believing in Jesus, that, that God raised him from the dead. But your personality, the very term salvation, means that you stop being human. You stop hating, you stop retaliating, you stop being jealous, you stop being proud. That is the definition of salvation. Because every action has a reaction. So you must stop sinning so that there's no reaction coming back to punish you. And then you're in heaven. It's so simple. But you never heard a preach like that. <laughs>